weddings are considered to be a once-in-a-lifetime event. But that doesn't mean that we should risk our life savings away for that one single event. We are always told to live within our means, so I hope this video will give you an idea about how much wedding suppliers cost nowadays to help you wed within your means. Hello everyone, in today's video we will discuss all about how much we spent on our wedding last May 2022 here in Manila, Philippines. And so if that is something that you're interested about, stick around until the end of the video. So of course, to starters, um, a little bit of a disclaimer, this video is in no way or form to brag about how much we spent. Um, the goal of this video is to really help all those people who are also planning their wedding, making sure that they won't go over budget. It is a common sentiment that people who have this a certain budget, they tend to spend more than what they initially budgeted for. Um, I will be discussing the cost per category and I will also mention if it is a low tier, mid tier, or high tier. So you will be able to know if that supplier is on the high end and if you could get a lot more suppliers that are more affordable and if it's a low tier supplier then those are usually the base rates already and something that you wouldn't be able to haggle much of. Just also a note, we booked these are suppliers last 2021 and we had our wedding this 2022. So if your wedding is on a later date, possibly 2023 or 2024, then these rates may no longer apply. This account for a price increased for the suppliers that I will mention, but at least you will have an idea on how much their base rate is. So the first category would be the photo and video team. So the photo team that we have is Proud Rat and we are thankful that we got this as a gift from family. We allocated 90,000 pesos for the Proud Rat. Uh, this includes the full wedding coverage and wedding outfit. The second supplier would be our videographer and they did an amazing job and it is Thea Films. We paid 60,000 pesos and this already includes the SDE and the full wedding film. Although we haven't received the full wedding film yet because it normally takes around two to three months before they would be able to send it out but that really includes it already. Sorry, I have some sort of código here. Um, for their prenup shoot, we did it at Atom Studios, located at Quezon City. It's owned by a friend of mine. And so actually we got this at a friendly rate. We paid 950 pesos, but I think they already had a price increase. Uh, so you could go ahead and check out their page but it was a fun shoot. Uh, we were able to shoot for around 45 minutes and we were able to shoot with two looks. One is a Filipiniana themed and one is a very minimalistic black and white kind of outfits. So I've tried to put on some clips here to show you guys some of the photos and we were able to shoot at Atom Studios. And yeah, the fourth one, was a part of the documentation category are our invites so we just did it DIY style um, my sister helped me design our invitations but we had our invites printed via Canva so surprisingly it's very cheap at 3,180 pesos uh, we just booked it through the website directly and we paid by a credit card but it came from Singapore so if, if this is something that's very urgent for you to have then I do not suggest but if you have some sort of a um, time to wait for it just allocate around one to two weeks for it to arrive in your mailbox or in your home. Another part of the documentation expenses would be the hard drives 
um, because you have to provide a hard drive for your photographer and also for your videographer just to make sure that you already have the clips and the photos during on the day off. Um, for Thea Film to actually provide us with a USB but we have to give them a, um, a hard drive after a week after. So we spent around 3,000 pesos for that. 3,000 or 4,000. I would have to put here the exact amount that we spent but we just bought the hard drives from Shopee. Okay, let's move on to other essential suppliers that we had. The first one, of course, is the church. So we had a church wedding. Um, we got married at Santuario de San Jose. Uh, so we, we paid 40,000 pesos for the church. This is kind of in the high tier uh, supplier because there are a lot of churches that would cost a lot less. Um, I think churches probably would just range around 10,000 to 20,000 pesos so this is really a stretch for us. We also paid additional uh, upgrade for the sound system because we had musicians although these are just um, not it's not a band uh, all instrumental we have to pay additional because of the speakers that they will use um, and we paid 3,500 for that. Um, for the clergy we just gave a little bit of a love gift so during the offertory you also gave like food essentials and candles and we spent 1823.35 for that next category would be our attire so that includes my wedding gown my husband's barong suit and my bridesmaids dresses so the first one would be my wedding gown. So I'm very, very happy to have found this store. They are located at Podium and it's at Studio Ceremony. What's good about this store is they already have set designs, but they will make your dress from scratch specifically for you. So I have tried several RTW shops and it doesn't sit with me so well that a lot of people have already tried that certain dress and you will wear that certain dress on your wedding day. I'm really, really thankful that I have found Studio Ceremony. I paid um, 48000 for my dress and of course I'll show you some clips and photos about it. Uh, the next one would be my bridal shoes. I got it from Badgley Mishka from Amazon. And I paid 5,000 pesos for it. For my husband's suit, a designer from Gazan City made his suit and he paid 25,000 pesos for it. It is made by Mark Solibanyan, and I will just link everyone in the description box below. My husband really wanted his suit to be very unique so he opted for a barong tux and it's actually the first time the designer made this and he made it really perfect. I really like that. Um, so if you also have a modern Filipina theme or you would want your groom to wear a barong then I would highly suggest Mark Solivenyan to make um, your husband's suit. Um, he also made the gowns for our moms, um, but our moms paid for it, so I'm very, very, very thankful for that also. We didn't include that in our list of expenses. But if you are going to pay for your mom's gowns, then I would suggest to allocate at least 12,000 to 15,000 pesos for your parents' gown. Um, in case you would want to give them that. The next one would be the groom's shoes. Um, my husband paid 9,000 pesos for the shoe. I think he bought that at Floor, Floor Shine. Next one would be my unconscious dresses. So I got it at Love C Manila. Um, I will put down their website down below as well. I chose from their collection 
and it's not the most expensive one. I re initially wanted the tool collection, but it's super expensive. It's at 5,000 plus per design. So I opted for another collection. Uh, the price ranges from 3,000 to 4,000 pesos. So that's more affordable um, because we also paid for their dresses. So it's important for us for it to be affordable but we're happy with Love C Manila. Um, the only comment that I have is I initially wanted dusty blue but it turned out to be some sort of a sky blue color but it's okay because it turned out well for my entourage. So let's go to the reception expenses and the first one of course would be the reception venue in the caterer. So we chose the package we had our reception at Gallery Miranila in QC and they have an exclusive partnership with Isu so that's what we got. Um, it also has a lot of inclusions already but I would still say that this expense is more of in the high tier um, because it's Bizu and Bizu is known for being pricey but worth it I would say. Um, so we paid 480,000 pesos for Gallery Miranila and Bisu, but they do have inclusions. They have um, complete lights and sounds, and this would cost around 100,000 if you hire them separately. So for me, this is kind of sulit na rin kasi it's already a package. Um, they also gave us a free cake by Hearts and Bells. Uh, it's a three-tiered cake, if I remember correctly. I'll put the photo here if I do find it. It's already included in the package also in drapings, the white drapings. I'll put a photo here as well. And last but not least would be the photo booth. So it's also free and included in the package. Next for the reception expense would be our ice cream cart. So we had a modern Filipiniano wedding. So it's only appropriate that we serve our guests 30 ice cream. So we hired Sorbelato and we paid them 4,500 pesos for three um, flavor flavors and good for 100 servings already. Next would be the coffee cart. Um, we had candied coffee to serve our guests um, hot or iced coffee. And I think they also included one non um, coffee drink so that I think that's hot chocolate yeah it's hot chocolate and also this was a gift from family but we allocated 11,500 for it this is um, I would say the mid-year expense next would be alcohol this we kind of splurged a lot so we ha we bought a lot of wine from SNR but we also booked a mobile bar so for the wine that we bought in SNR um, wine beers it's a little bit of snacks because during cocktails we serve pika pika um, nuts or stick oh you know all those little treats um, so all in all, we spent 15000 for s &R. That includes wine, beers, uh, a little bit of soft drinks, and a little bit of snack as well. So next, we also hired mobile bar. So we hired GQ mobile bar and we spent 8500 So for me, this is a good deal already because we only booked 50 for 50 packs. But essentially, it's unlimited for everyone. So we only booked 50 packs for the GQ mobile bar because we said that most of our guests are senior citizens anyway. Most are family who are not really into drinks. Okay, the next would be all the other expenses that we paid for. So the first one is the groom's wedding band. Um, for me, I don't need a wedding band anymore because my mom gave me uh, my wedding band, basically. So we paid 
28,320 for my husband's pant. Um, this is a bit of in the mid to high tier expense because my husband wanted to have a solid ring and kind of a thick ring. So it would really depend on the amount of grams that you or your husband would prefer. So if you want a thicker ring, of course, it would cost a lot more um, compared to thin ones. So the thin ones, I think you can buy it for around 15,000 pesos to 20,000 pesos in the malls. Okay, so the next supplier would be our florist. So this is a really solid supplier because they are a supplier from Dangwa. So they, they didn't charge us a lot of money because really direct to the supplier. Um, we paid them 14,500 and that already includes all the flowers for my entourage and my bridal bouquet. Um, so I'll post a photo here of my bridal bouquet and possibly also the flowers of my entourage. So it's LA Flower Shop by Dangwa and it's really in the low tier expense because florists can go as high as 50,000 to 100,000 if you are not buying directly from Dangwa. So the inclusions for that flower package would be flowers for my entourage, my bridal bouquet, flowers for the bridal car, um, flowers in the church. And they were also able to transfer some of the flowers in the church to the reception bin. So that's a plus for me. Highly recommend it also. Next would be the event stylist for the reception itself. Um, so we got studio ink reveries to style our reception venue and we paid them 58,000 pesos. Uh, so for me, this is also very, very sulit because if you are already canvassing how much stylist costs and it usually starts at 100,000 pesos, you wouldn't believe how much stylist costs nowadays it can go up as high as 1 million pesos and we are lucky to have found um so you ink reveries and we are very happy with the service uh, i'll just show photos of what i can here um, the next one would be our on the day event coordinator so they are life savers i would tell you um and they are March weddings and events and we paid them 18,500 low to mid tier already because most of the coordinators rates are already at 30,000 and up so March's team is really very solid because they also March also hosted and for me this is a really solid expense because they did a very good job in coordination Parang during the day we just need to enjoy it and we didn't have any problem in terms of being on time, you know, making sure that all the materials are on in the reception venue and in the ceremony venue. So I suggest for all brides out there to really hire on the day event coordinator, no matter how small or big your event is. All right, next. This is one of probably some of the bride and groom's unexpected expenses, and it would be the crew meals. Um, we hired Marcos and Jay's kitchen. Um, we didn't receive any feedback if it's good or not, but I think one thing that is for sure, ang dami ng serving. So I think this is also a solid spend. We paid them fifteen thousand pesos for. All our crew meals, brides don't allocate uh, a budget for crew meals during the first phase of their planning. So if you're a soon-to-be bride, then I suggest that you put this in and allocate budget for crew meals because this is very, very, very important. Next would be the hair and makeup. So we have two makeup artists. One is for me, my my two moms, two moms now, and then um, two siblings. And then another makeup 
for my entourage. Okay, so the first one is for my makeup. We we hired Ish Season and she did a very very good job. My makeup turned really nice because it really looks just natural. But on your face, but better. <laughs> contoured lang ng konte and really neutral tones, nothing to, nothing over the top. So I really recommend the Ish, and she's very professional, very clean in terms of her materials and workspace. We paid her thirty six thousand pesos, and that includes the two arms and two siblings, so total of five heads, including the bride. Next would be hair and makeup for my entourage. So that includes four, five bridesmaids and my maid of honor, and we paid Pam Janisha a total of nine thousand five hundred. Next would be our gifts for our sponsors, our Ninongs and Ninans. We paid. We got this Abel Pamana towels, and it's it has a free. What do you call that? Yung parang box na very Filipino na. I'll put a photo here of that souvenir, and we paid twelve thousand. I don't know, ten thousand two hundred for the sponsors' gifts, and then for the underage, I just gave out um, chocolates for my bridesmaids. I paid around two thousand seven hundred for that. Next, be the licenses and pants and other certificates that we had to pay for. Um, so for the marriage license, there are a lot of requirements, but we paid two thousand three hundred for all of the certifications that includes the baptismal certificate, the confirmation certificate. Um, and all the city hall expenses that we had to pay for, like cedula, um, what else? The seminar fee. I forgot how much, but we spent a total of two thousand two hundred for the licenses and pants. Next would be our bridal car. So this is an unnecessary expense in my opinion, but even though we have an additional car. What we wanted was the driver's service. The right? feeling like that. Okay, no, we don't need to hassle anyone, any of our family or friends to drive for us. The fact that um, the driver will just wait um, outside the venue of our hotel and going back to the church, going back to the reception venues. It was uh, unnecessary but a convenient. But brought us a lot of convenience. Happy to pay that amount. We paid five thousand for that. Next would be um, we had a, an after party, so we paid additional for lights and sounds, and for the mobile bar to stay longer. So we spent seven thousand five hundred for one hour extension on both the lights and sounds and the mobile bar. Next we. Also gave um, tips for our suppliers, um, our highly recommended suppliers, specifically Bizu and Marjus Team, um, and we paid for both of them already. I wouldn't say the breakdown, but we paid fourteen thousand for tips to our suppliers, bringing our total, bringing our total wedding expense at one million. Ninety-eight thousand four hundred fifty-six and thirty-five cents. So, verdict, final verdict. I would say it's worth it. I don't regret anything. Um, but admittedly, it's a huge amount of money for both of us. Honestly, we really budgeted for this. Um, we didn't get married early. I'm already 29 and my husband is in his 30s already so this is a long time coming. Uh, we prepared for this, for this kind of expense. Um, we knew that we wanted a wedding that's at least 100 guests so even if it's um, 
a pandemic and even if we're in the middle of a pandemic we really try to um, of course follow the safety protocols but we really wanted to invite as much of our closest family and friends as we can and we're just very thankful that everything cooperated um, the weather it rained a little little bit during cocktails but it's fine it didn't rain during the ceremony um, everything was perfect of course in my opinion <laughs> um, there are still some hiccups here and there but it's really something that i was very happy with i hope that this very honest wedding cost budget reveal um, would really help you guys out there to plan your wedding to make sure that you won't over budget chapter ayo natin dumating sa point na nandito na tayo sa wedding planning and baka mangutan tayo mabawang tayo sa utang or to really spend beyond our means so um i would categorize our wedding in mid-tier category overall because weddings can go as high as Five million to ten million pesos. I've heard of weddings like that, and um, of course, unless you are a billionaire, then go ahead, do as you like. But of course, for, for people like us who have budgets, who are just earning enough, um, I suggest you to really plan out the amount of money that you would allocate per supplier, making sure that. Um, they would deliver quality service, but you know, bear, but still within the budget. So, if you guys have any questions, maybe we can do a part two of this video. Uh, probably tips about getting married uh, and planning your wedding. Probably about marriage licenses, cost, the exact breakdown. If you want some sort of like that, um, just let me know. And I hope that you guys would all have a wedding of your dreams. May not look as glamorous or grand as you might envision it but of course a wedding that's yours that's very organic and very natural to the couple that's it and i'll see you guys on the next video don't forget to subscribe and comment down below any of your questions and other video suggestions i'll see you guys on the next video wishing you all success bye